Is it raining pretty hard out there? Hey, Santa? <laughs> you are just the cutest kitty, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yes, you are. What can you see? Hey, show me. What can you see? Why don't we have a little look? And I'll give you a few head scratches. Is that nice? Yeah? <gasps> I know what you want. You want it right. <laughs> it's so nice. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> mm, what are you looking at? Can you see him yet? Can you see him? You know who's coming around tonight. Yeah, you do. You always know when he's coming around, don't you? <laughs> Your second favorite human is coming around tonight. Yes, he is. Oh, but you know, Sona, he's not feeling so good today. Hmm, he's not feeling so good today. Do you know what I think is going to fix it? <laughs> I think you, you're going to fix it. But you need to give him your special, magical, fluffy cuddles. You think you can do that? Of course you can. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I think we're both going to have to uphold our best friend duties tonight. <sighs> I just hope that he's okay. It really breaks my heart to think that he's so hurt, you know? Do you know what I'm talking about? <sighs> Breakups are so awful, Sony. You'd be glad that you're a cute kitty who only has to worry about if karma's going to steal your spot on the bed. <laughs> hmm. Between me and you, Sona, I think I'm really starting to fall for him. I've never met someone that's so in tune with me. But we're friends. And that's good. And that's fine. Oh, I just really don't want to mess it up. But you won't tell anyone, will you? <laughs> oh, is that him? It is. <laughs> Good eye, sweetheart. Oh, he looks... He is so kin... Um, okay. Um, tell... Tell, um, keys. Keys, where are the keys? Oh my gosh, hey, are you okay? <laughs> you, you know I love to hug you, but you are dripping all over me. Oh my gosh. Oh, he must be freezing. <laughs> Only you could be sopping wet and tell me not to worry. Don't be silly, come on. Come through here. Oh, I can mop up any water, don't worry. Okay, let me just switch this fire on. <laughs> it's so fiddly, I'm sorry. Um, <coughs> there we go. Okay, um, let me check the radiator. I think I've got a t-shirt that's dry. Um, and I have, oh, these shorts. <laughs> I know it's not the best, but you can't stop in those soaking clothes. You will catch a cold. Well, I'm asking you, as your best friend, please, for me, can you just take off those horribly wet and cold clothes and just put some nice warm ones on, please? <laughs> okay, thank you. I will leave them here. There you go. Um, and um, I will face this way while you get changed. I promise I won't wash again. <laughs> I know that we're best friends, but don't really blush. Just put the clothes on while they're still warm from making it. <laughs> I feel like I'm standing guard. <laughs> oh, hey, Sona. <laughs> hey, 
Hey baby. <laughs> she was very convenient. Mm -hmm. It's like she knows when you're coming over every time. She just waits with me by the window. I mean, I wasn't waiting by the window for you. I just, you know, happened to be there and she just, yeah. Oh, and I left a towel on the sofa for you if you needed to dry off anymore. You're welcome. So I had a few ideas on what to do tonight. Like I had some media plan, there's some games plan, maybe some cooking or some baking if you wanted to. I mean, I forgot to get some flour and things like that, but if there's anything that Hey. Oh, hey, come here. Oh, I didn't want to bring it up because I didn't want to upset you. Please don't say that you're sorry. Are you kidding? I am your best friend. I'm so here for you. You do not need to be sorry for anything, okay? Okay? Come, come sit down with me, please. <laughs> you know how awkward this sofa is. I'm sorry. Um, if I sit like this, and then you can just come and sit here and some space between my legs is that okay yeah oh, come here please <laughs> let's sit lay against my chest <sighs> i have wanted to hold you from the moment that you told me what was going on i'm so so sorry that you're going through all of this pain and all of this hurt I can't imagine how confusing and awful it must be. I want you to take as much time as you need to be upset. Don't worry about me one bit. Not one bit. I am so fine with how things are right now because this is all I want to, as your best friend, this is all I want to do is just protect you and comfort you because I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm never gonna hurt you. All I wanna do is be here for you, okay? I've got you. <sighs> let it all out. Just let it all out. I know, I know it hurts. It really hurts inside. Breakups are so hard. <laughs> they're so hard. And they're just one of those things that it's gonna take time. And so all you can do is just give it time. Give yourself time. Take in everything that's happened and just try and heal. But you know what? You're already over the hardest part. It's done now. You know where you stand with everything and now you can start to heal and let go of it as best as you can. Every day is gonna get easier from here and I'm gonna be right here with you, okay? Every single day from now, it's gonna get so much easier, so much better. Hey, let me get this towel and I'm gonna dry your hair a little bit more because I'm so worried about you catching a cold. I don't want anything else to be bothering you. So, is that okay? If I just dry your hair a little? <laughs> okay. We'll just do this side. Nice and gentle. And this side. <laughs> I'm sorry if it tickles. <laughs> oh, that's it. And then just a little bit at the top. <laughs> you know, this is how my nan used to dry my hair. Ruthless. You're lucky that I'm being so gentle. And your hair looks... Mm, I think that's good. I can feel that you're warming up now. 
I might need to go and get some socks or something. Hey, I just want you to know that I'm here for you, whatever you need, okay? I know that you know that anyway, and that goes with being a best friend, but really, anything that you need, you can always count on me. Yes, and you, Sona. <laughs> oh, she loves you so much. We both do. As best friends. <laughs> oh, um, a little confession. <laughs> I really love the rain and the sounds, and I even love the rainstorms and things like that, but I'm kind of <laughs> a little bit terrified of thunder and lightning. I know, I know. I knew you were going to tease me about it. Well, it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't bother me that much, but is it okay if we just put something on until it passes a little bit more? Mm-hmm, and then we can do whatever you want. I've got so many things for us to do tonight. So much to keep your mind occupied. <laughs> we're going to have so much fun. I promise I'm going to look after you. I don't think we need to discuss why I'm scared of thunder and lightning. I'm sure that loads of people are scared of it. <laughs> hmm, okay. Well, let me see which DVDs I have. Oh yeah, um, I only have a DVD player down here. <laughs> the good technology lives in my bedroom, because that's where I spend most of the time. But, you know, DVD player, nice and retro, and to be fair, Whenever I'm in here, I'm usually just eating or um, working on stuff, so I don't really need all of that kind of stuff down here. Distraction. <laughs> um, I, I'm sure that I had more than this down here, but it looks like we've got... <clears throat> this is Doubtfire. Or Harry Potter. Um, the Goblet of Fire. Good one. <laughs> Of course I'm letting you choose. I am a nice person, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, well, which one are you going to choose? <laughs> okay, good choice, good choice. You know, I kind of had a feeling you were going to choose this one. <laughs> is it because you're predictable? Or is it just because you have really good taste? <laughs> I'll let you decide that one. Okay, that's it. Is the remote over there? Okie dokie. I'm just gonna grab ooh, this blanket. <laughs> I know, my extensive blanket collection. But I'm gonna go with this one. You know this one has like elephants on it. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm gonna wrap it all around me because it gets pretty chilly on the floor. It makes my bum so cold. <laughs> oh, well, I thought you might want the tiny sofa all to yourself. <laughs> Well, okay, but it's going to be the same situation as last time. It's just so small. <laughs> You're comfy. <laughs> oh, you do look comfy. Well, I'll tell you what. If I just sit here on the edge a little bit, I'm small enough. <laughs> oh, I am so used to this little thing and having to share it. <sighs> with my cat, silly. Oh, here we go again. I am not a cat lady. I just have two cats and they're so cute. And come on, you love them. Yes, you do. You can rest your leg by me if you want. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't mind. You know, I'm really happy that you came over tonight. Even if you are dripping all over my place and you're probably going to eat all my food. Yeah, I was really happy when you texted me. I didn't think that you would. I thought maybe you'd want to be by yourself for a little bit. I know I would want to do that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you know, the only trouble with a DVD is that you have to sit through these trailers. Mm -mm. No, my DVD player is so old that you can't skip it. It's so annoying. Well, if you think it's so bad, maybe for my birthday. Oh, what happened? Oh my god, what happened? I can't see anything. 
power cut. Do you think it's because of the storm? Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, I'm sorry. I just, I can't stand it. I'm sorry. Is it okay if I just stay here in your chest? Just for a little bit, I promise, I promise. <laughs> My breathing. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. In. Out. In. Out. In. <sighs> Thank you for holding me. I know, um, but I'm really sorry. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it's always really comforting when you hold me. Like normally I would be going out of my mind. Oh, shut up. You know what going out of my mind is. This is not it. Yeah. You've held me before. Well, remember that time around my birthday when I had that whole day where everything just seemed to be going wrong? Mm -hmm. and I got so upset and I felt like I was never going to calm down and then you just gave me that really big hug <laughs> yeah I the way you just have like a magic touch and I just felt so much better and right now you're really helping me out <laughs> hey I might be scared but I really mean everything that I'm saying <laughs> oh my god Make the most of this because I am so gonna kick your butt once this thunder is gone. God. I know that being scared of thunder is supposed to be just for kids, but I guess I never really grew up in that way. But right now I feel okay. And I think it's just because you're with me and you just make me feel really safe. And I think that's how I know that you're a really special person to me. I'm sorry, am I rambling? <laughs> this is what happens every single time. I'm so silly. My hand? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Your hand is really warm. <laughs> At least the rain didn't get to you and you're nice and warm. I hate it so much. Oh my gosh, I really need to grow up, don't I? <laughs> you want to know more why you're a special person to me? Oh, that would make you feel so much better, would it? <laughs> Such a smooth talker, I swear. Well, I guess it will take my mind off the thunder a little bit. Okay, okay, um, okay, I'm gonna get comfy like this, and I'm gonna close my eyes. Um, how you are a really special person to me, okay, um. Um, well, since we stuck being friends, I always knew that you were a special person in general because you're so kind and you're so clever and, um, attentive to others. Um, hey, you're not allowed to protest. This is helping you and me. Mm -hmm. You just need to sit and listen, okay? Because I'm gonna start forgetting where I was and then this isn't gonna work. <laughs> okay. Um. Where was I? Closer? Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is really nice. Um. Okay, um. You're a really special person to me because. You are such a nice person. Did I already say that? Um, I've never met someone who put so much attention into their friendships. 
like you genuinely care about each and every one of your friends and I see how you go out of your way for other people and even when you might not see it like that it really is you going out of your way and that's such a special trait to have your presence is really wonderful and having you around is like having like a light on <laughs> it's really warm and it's really bright and it's really noticeable when you're not there and I think I've been feeling that the past few months where you've been with her so in terms of being such a special person to me I have never been so invested in a friend before the attention and the care and the fun that we have is just so mutual and I feel that all of my love that I give to you and all of my attention and friendship it's all reciprocated by you and I feel like you know me really well these days you know when I need a little bit more care and you always know what to do to make me feel better even in situations like this where I don't really know what to do and I haven't done for the longest time but just feels like with you you just know and it just feels just so right I have never felt this way about any other friend before and <laughs> you want to know something really silly or maybe I shouldn't say it well I don't want to drag it all back up for you and Please tell me to shut up if you want me to because I can't tell if this is the right thing to say right now. I can't tell whether I'm nervous or just anxious about the thunder. But, well, since you were with her, I found myself getting um, jealous. Oh gosh, I'm so glad that I can't see your face right now. I'm sorry, I don't want anything to change, I just, I love being best friends with you so much. I really couldn't imagine not being your best friend and not having you in my life. And I really, oh my god, you don't know how hard I have tried. have a problem with anxious rambling and I've never rambled to try and deal with this before and it's just <laughs> no please please I liked it please kiss me again I don't think I'm scared anymore. <laughs> I think I've calmed down. And I think maybe you're just gonna have to do that 
every single time that thunder and lightning come. So, what happens now? Well, I think I want to stay here in your arms forever. Until the power cut stops. It's a good start.